Welcome back everyone to the Complete Pine Leaf. We are back here in Fourth Frond after we had a little bit of a problem at the end of the last episode. Let's find out what we need to do next. We stride into a danger that we cannot hope to overcome. With the defeat at um, Brontrig, we must refocus our efforts in the Isendale. The army at Wolf's Cleft is growing stronger with every passing day, and we must now turn our attention to weakening that force. Garon, another of my scouts, has encamped near Wolf's Cleft to observe their muster and report on their movements. You should join him there and lend him what aid you may. Journey due west to the valleys until you reach the cliff face of the Culvert, another village of the Dunladings. All right, then let's go to another Dunlending village, and hopefully we can do something um, more lasting than what happened last time. Ah, we found um, Garun. Time is short, and so is hope. Hail, Pineleaf. I was told to expect you. You're highly regarded by many of our captains here in Dunland, and I'm honored to make your acquaintance. There have been massive movements of Dunlanding forces to and from Wolf's Cleft, and we have much work ahead of us. Don't we always? So what do we need to do? Shadows lie along our path. The Dunlanding... We seek to dispel them at all cost. The Dunlanings mustering in Wolf's Clefts have posted banners which guide the warriors coming from other parts of Dunland to their camps and mark the marching route for forces departing Wolf's Cleft. Perhaps if you remove the banners, it will slow their muster and lend our forces time to prepare. The banners can be found along the mountain passes to the south of here. Right, all right. Destroy some banners. I suppose I can do that. And what else? We stride into a danger that we cannot hope to overcome. Finally, it has become more and more difficult to get a clear view of Wolf's Cleft, for the Dunlendings have increased their patrols in the area. If we are to learn the current state of their muster in Wolf's Cleft, we must engage these patrols and clear away. Travel south along the western edge of the mountains between the Isendale and Wolf's Cleft. The Dunlending patrols can be found in the valleys and mountain passes. When you have cleared the path, return to me. So, clear out banners and clear out patrols. It appears I don't have to go very far to find the first banner. There is one right here. So at least I am nice and close to where I need to go. There you go. Boom. And we'll take about that. And there's another one right up there. Good. Now, I haven't seen any patrols yet, but I suppose I'll find one of those. And I also think I just saw a sneaky type somewhere around there. I sensed someone sneaking about. Well, I won't worry. Oh. There she is! <laughs> Found her! Or did she find me? I'm not too sure which one, but... Not a worry in any case. And... Oh. That's the one. Oh, that's the one. Oh, boy! Got a little turned around there. Alright, well, we'll take care of that one. And that's... Two down. I think am I supposed to be going up here? Hmm. I see a patrol down there, so whether or not there are more banners down this way. Ah, and speaking of patrols, here is one right over here. Now, of course, since it's a patrol, there's going to be more than one of these. Now, do you get credit for two for killing these two, or do you get... 
I mean, is, does each one count as a patrol, or just, well, I guess that answers that question. The alternate question was, or are the two together form the patrol? Because that's why I think of the patrol as the group, but apparently, whoever is giving credit for the quest is not as strict on that particular nomenclature. Now, let's see, where else do we have here? Ah, banners. I think this and the one across the road will form the last two of those. Oh, here's an individual person in a patrol. All right. Die, fool! Yeah. Die, fool! Die, fuego! Boy! Oh, that's three of those down. So I just need to find a couple more patrols and I'll be done. I am back for my little jaunt. I took care of those banners. Time is short, and so is hope. While this action will only buy us a few moments of extra time, those few moments may be just enough for our forces to prepare. Well, I suppose so. Let's see. Hmm, boots? Yeah, of course, the usual yeah, stuff. And also... Our hope lies in strength. But the servants of the enemy are everywhere. Oh, good, good. You took care of the patrols. This means we can resume our vigil and perhaps bring reinforcements to the passes. Okay. And what else do you need me to do? Oh, a bit, apparently. Evil stirs in the shadows, and the horse lords have need of aid. Among the crags to the east, a pack of wargs have holed up in some warrens. From them, from there, they hunt our patrols and harry our forces. I believe we should root out the wargs and drive them from this place. It will make our movements easier and less noticed by the enemy, I think. The warrens lie to the east, not far from the northern pass of the Gravenwood. All right, I'll defeat wargs there. What else? We stride into a danger that we cannot hope overcome. Several war pack leaders and goblin warg riders have been sighted among the warg warrens east of here. These creatures clearly guide the actions of the wargs and must be dealt with. All right. And? Evil stirs in the shadows, and the horse lords have need of aid. The winter promises to be terrible this year. She what? month is this right now? About February? Well, I think if the winter was going to promise to be particularly cold, it would have shown signs of being so by now. Just saying, because... Actually... Yeah, getting the exact date around these events is a little bit tricky. But this has to be after... Oh, I know where. I know how we could put a date to this. Of course! We're getting close, very close, to the first battle of the Fords of Eisen. The first battle of Eisen is on the 25th of February, which is. late winter. I think that would be a good way of putting it. Late winter or early spring, depending on point of view or type of reckoning you're using for the seasons. I'll say late winter is probably certainly a more reasonable one that it would that you would use in modern times. Very well. So if we're talking about late winter, you know, you're hard to say what the winter promises to be and look at look at this here green all over the place We're, that means we are pretty far south in an area where it's already green spring is already here that's what this looks like so saying that the winter promises to be a very cold one is a pretty Poor thing to say, considering that 
Spring seems to be maybe a little bit on the early side. Well, actually, it depends on... I guess the exact climate of this area because we are getting down on the south end of the mountains in here perhaps it's protected and all more southern latitude oh just a corpse So it might not necessarily be unusually warm here, but it's definitely, definitely promising to be a bad winter, which is, I think, my point in the entire thing. And yes, see, I need one more war rider and a couple more pack leaders. I've got the pelts and, oh, just one more regular warg. Okay. Oh, and there's a warg rider up there. I think I'm going to be finished with this quest in no time, right? There you go. I've dealt with those wargs. Time is short, and so is hope. With the warg threat reduced, our patrols can scout more effectively and secretly. Yep. And also, I've managed to bring the pelts. Our hope lies in strength. But the servants of the enemy are everywhere. The fur is coarse and uncomfortable, but these pelts will serve both to keep our people warm and to warn the wargs. We will not tolerate their presence. Dunlondings rally to the banner of the White Hand. And with their leadership dispatched, perhaps the rest of the pack will disperse and return from whence they came. We could only hope. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess I'll just take the bracers. And what's next? Evil stirs in the shadows, and the horse lords have need of aid. The town of Kulvnerth has become of strategic importance to an on our ongoing attempt to hold back the impending invasion of Wolf's Cleft. An advanced force from the Cleft has occupied the village, but if we can drive them out, it might be that our own men can use it as a stronghold against the cleft. Uh, should I tell you what happened to the uh, last Dunlending village we overran? Anyway, we attempt this. Um, Culverit lies to the southeast of here and is well garrisoned. Wonderful. So defeat Dunlending's there. We stride into a danger that we cannot hope to overcome. The Dunlendings at Kulvnerth have been gathering large stores of supplies for the army in Wolf's Cleft. These supplies are vital for their impending invasion, and it may be that without them, the army might be crippled. Would you be willing to travel southeast? Yes, and destroy the supplies, kill the Dunlendings. Got you. And that looks like the village over there. Yep. This looks like a Dunlending village. Some things of it. The architecture looks very familiar, doesn't it? You have discovered Culvnerth. Completed. Exploring the Isendale. Whee! Well, that's good to hear. So we are making progress in getting through here. And I think I found the first bit of supplies that we need to destroy. Good! We are making progress. Piece by piece. Supply store by supply store. And it looks like I found something interesting here. A cruel spear. This spear appears to have belonged to a Dunlending from a nearby tribe. Among the fallen Dunlendings, you found the spearhead. The similarity to it and those found in Brontrig is disconcerting. The origins of these cruel barbs may lead to the identity of those who are supplying the Dunladings. You should bring the spearhead to Garen. Alright, fine. I shall do so. I've managed to deal with those Dunladings. Yep. Time is short, and so is hope.
Alas, though you have driven a number of the enemy from Kuvnerth, they will soon regarrison the village. However, though it may seem like we are simply forestalling the inevitable, your actions will delay the Dunlending army for marching forth. Right, okay. And I've destroyed the supplies. Time is short, and so is hope. With the supply stores of Kodra destroyed, the Wolf's Cleft army will have to take time to gather more supplies before they march. Well, there is that. Hmm. Oh. Actually... Well, that might work. And, oh yeah, I also found this spearhead. The Dunlundings rally to the banner of the White Hand. In my many years of fighting, I have seen things such as this. These kind of weapons is so far too cruel for any of the Dunlending peoples to forge. It resembles much more those wielded by orcs and their kind. How the Dunlendings obtain these weapons is a mystery. One which we must uncover. Well, did I ever tell you the bit about the Dunlendings working with the White Hand? The orcs working with the White Hand? Just saying. So what do we do? Shadows lie along our path. We must seek to dispel them at all cost. It does not seem possible, but I am not blind and have seen it with my own eyes. Already a new store of supplies has been deposited in Kovnerth. The Dunlendings will not have had time to secure more supplies. They must have a benefactor with great resources, and we must discover who that benefactor is. Let me know when you're ready. These caverns below the village through which the supplies were probably bought, brought. All right, let's go. The Dunlendings at Kuvnert have been receiving supplies from a mysterious source somewhere within a nearby cave. Whatever the foe that aids our enemies, it must be stopped. Sever the supply lines. All right. Route the su route the supply chain. Sever the supply lines. The odd benefactors. All right. So we need to do. Oh yeah. This instance. I had totally forgotten about this one, and I think I saw somebody run on ahead as soon as we got in there. Possibly someone connected with the benefactors. Alright, I guess we go this way. Yeah, orcs! How about that? Finding orcs in this cave. What a shock. I would never have believed it possible. Defeat orcs in the cavern. Yeah, so we defeat orcs and defeat supply captains. Those are the two main things we need to do. And I have to find out where each of them is. Which is the tricky bit, if I recall correctly. Down here, orc grunt. Or I think I had to look through just about every place here in order to find what I'm looking for. And how about if I go down? Oh, it doesn't go down anywhere. This way then. And down. And down. And down. I think back when I was... Doing Dunland with a large number of characters, I had... Figured it out an ideal path to get them all, but... Oh, I think that's the first of the captains right there, isn't it? Yeah. Good! I think the supply captains are the orc captains. We will find that out in a moment. Yoo-hoo, are you a supply captain? Look, he's next to supplies, and he's a captain. To me, that sounds like a supply captain. I can't think. 
And all right, that takes care of this and destroy the second store of supplies. Ah, search across the bridge for supplies. Aha. Across the bridge. So let me see, I have to first get across. Oh, this way. I forgot you had to destroy these things in a certain order. But said across the bridge, and this is across the bridge. At least. That's what I'm assuming they mean. I said it's been a few years since I've done this one. Let me head along this way. Haven't I been here before? Yes, I have. Hmm. Well. I'm going in circles! What about going through that tunnel and that they meant by across the bridge they meant going here? Yeah, that's always a possibility. Especially since there are new orcs here. And that means a new possibility for finding supplies. Okay, that's six of those. And, well, that's a grunt, but I do see supplies there. Is that the second set of supplies? They really don't say which of them they are. Hmm. Well, it's glowing, so it must be the second set. Uh, is that a troll? It looks like a troll to me. Looks like a big troll. As soon as they get rid of... I'm sure as soon as I walk next to it, it's going to attack. Or does it attack me when I destroy the supplies? Okay, fine. It ignored me. I guess that means down this way now. Sounds like my best bet for... Well, I found orcs at least. This looks like the usual pattern here. Find a couple of orcs and eventually it should lead me to the third set of supplies. Aha! I have finally found the third set of supplies. Good. And there should be a captain somewhere nearby, right? Aha, I found the captain. Good. One captain down. Two, one set of work supplies down. And we will be set. And this should take care of the supply chain. I took care of those orcs and those supplies. Time is short, and so is hope. These tidings trouble me, Pineleaf. I do not understand why the orcs are supplying the Dunladings. There are as much enemies to the Rohirrim and the orcs. Even if the orcs are rogues serving no one, this is tro a troubling alliance. Well, actually, they're both serving Saruman. So what should we do next? Evil stirs in the shadows, and the horse lords have need of aid. You've done all you can here, Pineleaf. It's time to move on. Travel south until you reach the Eisen, then head eastward along the shore until you find the rock outcropping. There you'll find another of our scouts, Enoth. I'm certain that Enoth will have much need of your aid, as I did. Yeah, I'm sure he will. And that's where you'll find me in the next episode of The Complete Pineleaf.